Hey everybody, Midnight Range TM here. Thanks for visiting the channel. So we're back with another uh, review of a product from Amazon, uh, from Filand, F-Y-L-A-N-D. It's a tactical flashlight and weapons mount. So uh, with a Picatinny rail. <clears throat> so uh, it's coming in at 31 bucks right now. So it's a uh, good price, good value. Let's we'll see what we got in here. <clears throat> So, um, I did take one of the batteries uh, and put into the flashlight. It comes with two, which is really cool. Um, 2200 mAh. Uh, I think it's good for six hours per charge. It's a thousand lumens, all aluminum. Get the little lanyard on it. Um, it does unscrew from the front or the back. Uh, there's O-rings on the front and the back. And what's funny is <clears throat> I've seen other lights like this um, with different... They must make them for a few different companies and they rebrand them. A lot of times they'll have the name written here. Um, but the back just screws off. Really, really simple. Battery slips out. And goes back on. Uh, it is on and off, um, end switch, okay. it's a nice light um, color wise. Uh, I've had some, some LED lights that have almost a bluish tint to them. This is a nice white, nice white color, um, it's pretty bright. <laughs> um, I have a Warrior X that's brighter than that and uh, Actually, this one I think is 1200. This is 1200. I have a Warrior X that goes like 2000 that I got from Travis P11, and that is crazy bright. Uh, I also have a stream light on my 12 gauge that's a thousand lumens, so this is a little bit brighter than that stream light. Uh, it does come with a pressure switch, which is kind of cool. Just unscrew the lanyard end. And you screw on, just straight screw on the end with the pressure switch. <clears throat> do, 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 do. And temporary on. Let me hold this here so you can see it. Um, temporary on. Does have a nice feel to it. And then on off. Now this is something that I don't have a whole lot of experience with. Uh, the Warrior X that I had that I mentioned before has a pressure switch on it too, but it actually has like a rubberized holder that snaps into the Picatinny rail set, like a like a ladder rail, like a, the rail covers. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I don't really know. I have to look. I'm not really sure how to mount these. Um, <clears throat> you know, double sided tape maybe. Um, I've also seen people that have wrapped, um, put this on to like a grip and wrap the whole grip with like um, uh, tape that you would use to like wrap uh, an injury, <laughs> medical tape sort of, um, you know, or if you have a sprained, uh, sprained wrist or something like that. I don't know. So um, it's something I'll have to look up a little bit or, you know, um, some comments under the video and you can tell me how to do it, how you do it, if you do it. <clears throat> and this is the mount, okay? Um, the only other thing in here is the, is the charger for the battery, okay? Charger lights up. Not sure if it turns colors when it is fully charged or not. I'll let this one charge overnight, and we'll see. <clears throat> but the mount is a pretty standard looking mount. Um, all aluminum construction. It's nice, actually. Uh, it's got really nice edges. Doesn't have any real sharp edges or, you know, points to it that are sharp. And <clears throat> what I did think was kind of nice about this one is 
Um, if you mount it on the side, it hangs down a little bit, or you can mount it on the top and it sticks over. But um, yeah, so what I'll do is uh, we'll mount this on something, take a look and see how it, uh, how it looks. All right, so I took my AR and I put one of the uh, rail sections on it. That's one of the filing ones too, by the way. The aluminum ones that I did the review on before. They, they're they really nice. Um, this goes on just like any other thing would. You'd slip it, over the, slip it over the rail, give it a tighten. I'm just gonna finger tighten it. <clears throat> and then Slip the flashlight through. Again, right to wherever you'd want it. I'll just put it right in the middle there. Okay. So we'll just snug these down a little bit. I'm not going to go super tight. I won't crush anything. And. There we go. So you can see the profile it's got. It sits down, which is kind of nice. Um, the Warrior X, the mount that it has, came, came a little more straight out, uh, like along with the barrel. Um, I actually like that this sits down a little bit more, it gets out of your field of vision. That's actually kind of nice. So uh, I like this mount, I think a little bit, <laughs> the profile of the mount a little bit more than I like the, the profile of the other one that I have. But um, one thing that it doesn't have and that I thought maybe it would was on the inside of the mount, I really kind of expected it to maybe have like um, some padding or a little rubber, um, rubberiness to it. Um, you know, so you've got aluminum on aluminum here, which is fine. I don't I guess there's nothing wrong with that. I just expected it to have a little something in there. Um, if you wanted that, I guess you could put a little piece of a uh, little bit of electrical tape or something inside of there. That would be that'd be nice if you don't want it to. Not that it's going to mar it up or anything, but no, there's that. So I don't know. I like it. It's pretty cool. Um, it works really good. Uh, the pressure switch works good. It's not flaky at all. It's very responsive. Works really well. Uh, and again, this is just on and off. There's no there's no level setting. There's no, you know, low, medium, high, or anything like that. There's no strobe on or anything like that. But um, that works nice. I like it. It's a nice addition. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it as a weapons light or if I'm going to use it as a truck light. <laughs> um, we'll see. But that's it. The Filand. Um, tactical flashlight uh, with the weapons mount and the pressure switch corded pressure switch uh, does come with the second battery the charger so there'll be a link in the description take you over to Amazon and check this bad boy out if you want to pick it up pick it up um, let me know what you think and uh, in the meantime like I said give me some suggestions on the best way to mount a pressure switch put it on the grip there I've seen a couple different ways to do it. How do you do it? Thanks for visiting the channel. I appreciate to watch it. Uh, give it a thumbs up if it was helpful. Give me a comment in the comment section. Let me know what's going on. You can find me over in gunchannels.com, uh, YouTube, obviously, GunStreamer, and uh, Instagram. Come check me out. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.